right y'all I am back with another recipe I'm so excited about this one this is a brown rice peas and pear you can see the pear is a little <laughs> super ripe but you can see it's still good I just peeled off the skin and I really kind of like it this soft like that because I feel like the kids eat it and it's a little sweeter I went ahead and had some leftover brown rice that I cooked with some this is some thyme and some garlic. I froze it for days like this. I don't have to recook again. And green peas. I just, this is my kids' absolute favorite recipe. I've been making it for them and they just adore it. So as I mentioned, the kids are getting a little older. So we no longer putting the food in the four ounce jars. I picked up these super cool dishwasher and freezer safe reusable pouches and it's cool because it actually opens in the bottom this is their seven ounce one i believe they have a four five and seven ounce i got it off of amazon who's this, this by we sprout yeah that's right so it's really cool you could freeze it you could make it a day ahead and they just could just slurp it up so good so i'm going to show you how i make this recipe y'all so here we go so as I mentioned this is a super ripe pear nothing wrong with that I just like to quarter them I had two I'm gonna quarter them take the stem out any of the seeds just want to take those out very delicately I'm sure you guys are not gonna let it get this bad but I did I kind of also forgot about it <laughs> but it's still really good I was able to pick apart some of the darker parts but as you can see, see, still really good, still really sweet. Can you see it's a little, okay, there we go. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of these. I'm just gonna show you what I did. I just took the butter knife and I just peeled this back. Come on. Okay, all right, so you just wanna peel it back, see? And what this does is, because it's so tender and so ripe, I don't even need to steam it which is great, so I'm skipping a step. In some of my previous videos, you remember that I used to always steam the fruits because I felt like it was just required because their stomach was so tiny. But this is avoiding that step. So it's perfect. Diddy. All right. Jaw. So here we go. We got about three to four cups of water boiling in my Joseph Joseph steamer, which I love this thing, so easy. You just literally dump everything inside. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my peas. Nice frozen sweet peas. Now, of course, if you have fresh, go for it. Um, additionally, I'm going to add my brown rice. Uh, it is already cooked, like I mentioned. I'm just going to throw it in the steamer just so it can just thaw off a little bit. I'm trying to break it up as best I can. I don't think I can. But anyway, so here we go. So go ahead and dump that in here. Uh, let it steam for maybe about, I don't know, maybe about 7 to 10 minutes. And we'll take a look once we're done. We might need the strainer just because you know some of the pieces get stuck in here so yeah 10 minutes and we'll be back okay so I let it go for about seven minutes all together you can see it's nice and thawed out the peas are perfect I may let it sit in the steamer just for a little while longer I like the peas to be like fully as you can see right here um, nice and plump I want it just let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see just want it like nice and steamed so I'm just gonna let it sit here I'm, I just turned off the oven for another just a minute or two once it's completely done we're gonna do the same thing separate the liquid from the food and get ready to blend so I let it sit for just a little while longer let's take a look looks 
great smell great oh goodness guys I just love the smell of peas and my kids do too so I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna go ahead and separate the um, the food from the liquid we always 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 keep the liquid it helps with blending the food adds back the nutrients that was lost during steaming and yeah so let's go all right y'all so here we go we're back and we're gonna go ahead and combine all the ingredients this is the liquid here uh, I have about two cups but I'm gonna pour just about a cup and a half yeah so yeah give or take just about a cup and a half okay all right I'm also gonna add so according to Vitamix they want you to add your liquid first I'm using the vitamin 7 50 series I have it here off to the left I'm uh, gonna go ahead and add the remaining of the ingredients this is the pears the super ripe pears I should say that was been diced awesome okay and this is the steamer with our cooked brown rice and peas I hope you guys can see that I'm gonna take this out there was a piece of thyme branch all right so we're gonna go ahead and dump that all in and if you guys have bionic ears like I do I'm so sorry that is the air fryer going on in the background I actually got a cook for a hubby too so you guys all the wives and mamas you know what I'm talking about okay so cool so let's take a look so my rule of thumb, now this is a lot of food. <laughs> I might end up blending it, then freezing it, we'll see. So this is what everything looks like. So my rule of thumb is to just make sure the liquid is fully in the container, which it looks like, and it is, and not too liquidy on top, especially when you're tilting it over. So to me, this looks perfect. I used to follow the Vitamix recipe. Yeah, I, I mean, let me use that, rephrase that. They had a baby food section and the rule of thumb was for every two cups of steamed food, one cup of liquid, water, um, baby formula, or any kind of liquid. But I kind of stemmed away from that because I was feeling like I was making some of the foods a little too liquidy or too thick and had to always go back in. So we are revamping the recipe. And like I mentioned, just a rule of thumb it should look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and blend and let's go. All right, so here we go. We're back. I finished blending our mixture. Let's just take a look. All right, let's see. Ooh, wee looks great perfect That's exactly the consistency I was looking for um, so we're gonna go ahead and pouch it I have the little sprouts no what is this I'm sorry the wee sprouts There we go, wee sprout. It's great, wonderful. Uh, this is actually day two of using it and the kids really liked it. So I'm going to, it opens in the bottom. This is their seven ounce reusable sprout. I'm gonna try to pour it. And you don't wanna fill it all the way. In my last video, <laughs> I kind of was struggling guys so I think you want to fill it just before this line right here and I think let's see if it'll work no oh no how did I do it last time okay hold on so I redo this that's all okay I just poured some out and here we go there we go so it's you want to hear that snap okay I could just clean this off have a tissue on me just gonna use my hand y'all hashtag mommy life okay so no spilling I'm squeezing it no spilling it's perfect 
You could freeze these. Oh man, these things are so cool. You could save a dollar, two dollars on the store-bought pouches. Oh gosh, and it just really adds up. But this is so great. You could make your own foods, your own baby slash toddler foods in these and just, you know, freeze it, have it to go. It's just a game changer for sure. So I think I bought, I'm trying to think now. Okay, so there are six pieces all together. This is a seven ounce one. And I think they're about $16, $17 on Amazon. Yeah, yikes. But, <laughs> you know, for what it does, you know, you can't beat it. So here it is, our green beans. Uh, what is this again? Brown rice and pear mixture. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I really, really appreciate the support. Give it a thumbs up, a like, comment below, subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks again for watching. Bye.